Hello YouTube, it's Bash here, Bring you, bringing you the finals of the Pokemon Showdown League. We are playing against Matthew Master, um, Matthew Master and the Hawaiian Charizard. His, te his team consists of Victini, Ferrothorn, Tentacruel, Sylveon, Weavile, Mega Ampharos, Porygon Z, uh, Rhyperior, Crobat, uh, Vicavolt, and Shuckle. And my team consists of Megalopony, Zygarde 50%, Zapdos, Clefable, Darmanitan, Rose Raid, Mesprit, Blastoise, Registeel, Mistrevious, uh, Mismagius, and Alolan Persian. With my Z users being Mismagius and Alolan Persian. And his Z users being Weavile and Vicavolt. So, last time I played him, he brought Choice Card Victini. And it's really the only way to beat my, um, what's it called, Megalopony and its speed. Because nothing on his team outspeeds it unless he scarfs it, I believe. Unless, yeah, unless he scarfs it. So, knowing this, I knew he had to bring one scarf to the match. And I kind of thought Victini, Weavile, uh, Mega, Ampharos, and right and uh, those three are definitely coming. I had a feeling those three were going to come. And then I thought Shuckle would come because it was so annoying last time I played him. Which we only won one nothing, and it came down to a damage roll with Megalopony against Victini with a fake out. Um, poor, uh, I think Porygon's watching. Uh, I think I thought Sylveon, out of the two spots remaining, I thought Sylveon would maybe come. It's between Sylveon, Ferrothorn, Rhyperior, and Crobat. I didn't think I didn't think the Porygon Z, Tentacruel, or Vicavolt were gonna come. So let's go into this match. So he brings Mega Ampharos, Sylveon, Weavile, Rhyperior, Victini, Porygon Z. So I didn't think Porygon Z was gonna come, but based off of this setting, this team, I either thought that Porygon Z or Victini was was scarfed based off of this team. And I thought, I th I believe that, I think Mega Ampharos is offensive, so is Weavile. And Rhyperior maybe was set up, and Sylveon was a defensive wall. So, I brought Megalopony, uh, Alolan Persian, Clefable, Roserade, Zygarde 50%, and Blastoise. And Megalopony had Fake Out Return, High Jump Kick, and Quick Attack. Quick Attack to deal with those Scarfers, just in case. I don't want to, like, just to make sure I out-prioritize uh, out him. Alolan Persian was very defensive to deal with Victini V-Create with Parting Shot, Toxic, Foul Play, and Taunt with the Iapa Berry and Fur Coat. Clefable was leftovers on, uh, with, with uh, Magic Guard to deal with Mega Ampharos, which was a huge threat because he, he usually brings it, which is not a huge threat, but, like, he brings it offensive every week and... It was my it was a really, my clay feeble was a really good check to Mega Ampharos. So I brought Soft Boil, Stealth Rock, Moon Blast, and Flamethrower. I brought Roserade with Extra Route Technician with Giga Drain, Hidden Power Fire, Sludge Bomb, and Toxic Spikes because the HP Fire was for the Ferrothorn. Um, the and like the and it, Sludge Bomb's really for like the Sylveon. And the Giga Drains for like the Rhyperior, four times effective, it's going to hit pretty hard. And the Toxic Spikes, I kind of didn't think he would bring his Toxic Spike user. So, yeah, I didn't think he's going to bring his like, um, his, uh, like Hazard Remover and Tentacruel, which is also his Toxic, toxic Absorber. And I, like, if he brings Crobat, I want to force it to Defog. And just the Toxic Spikes can be huge for this. It can be like wear down all this all this Pokemon. As you'll see, all of them are grounded. So I brought that. I brought Zygarde with Yachi Berry and with Dragon Dance, Thousand Arrow, Super Power, and Extreme Speed, which the Yachi Berry allows me to uh, to live an Ice Shard from Weavile and just and just take it out with uh, any any one of my moves after I set up the sh the Blastoise. Um, 
which was leftovers with rapid spin, scald, or sphere, and dragon tail, is really mixed defense to hand handle kind of like the weavile ish. But like I wanted to be able to hit, I'll be able to handle Victini if it was specially offensive as well. And the dragon tail was really to just switch things around to try to get Victini with stealth rock damage. So let's get into this battle, okay? So. I had a feeling I want to lead I want to lead a lowland Persian to get a, a party shot off and he leaves his Victini which I think is scarf because the way because he led with it and I, he was just going to click U-turn so I just click party shot to try to get, get momentum but he hard switches into Sylveon and I hit click party shot and I switch into my Rosary and knowing that he won't stay in because Rosary does a lot to Sylveon even if Sylveon is really specially defensive I know he's gonna switch out, so I go for a T spike, a setup one, and then I go into Porygon Z, and he goes into Porygon Z, and he gets he gets has download, which I'm a little questionable because he clicks Tri Attack, because he should have just gone Adaptability if he wanted that. But Blastoise tanks that, and after Orsphere, Megalopony is able to pretty much beat this thing, even if it was a crit. Megalopony was able to take it out. So, but just to be sure, because Porygon Z could be Scarfed, so I bring out Megalopony, I click Fake Out, and I cl click Quick Attack for those, just in case it's Scarfed, because I didn't want to deal with that Tri Attack damage and maybe getting a, uh, like getting a status. So, that revenge is Porygon 2, and Porygon Z, and when he brings in Victini, I think that's Scarfed, because why would he bring in Victini on Megalopony? Unless it's scarfed for some reason, so I switch out into my uh, my answer to this, and he goes for Trick Room. This man brought Trick Room to the finals with V Create, but as you'll see, V Create doesn't do anything to a Lolan person. Look at what he eats that up. He eats that up, and he goes. And my Lolan person goes for a foul play. It takes out Bictini. So he goes into Sylveon. And with he gets to, he gets toxic, and because there's a trick room, and a lower person could be helpful against the Rhyperior and Weavile, and put the and take the pressure off some of my other mods. I I want to keep this around, so I don't go for party shot because he outspeeds in trick room. So I go for I switch out into Rose Rain, and he goes for a Calm Mind. And this, as you see right here, if I went for the party shot, it could have been huge because. Rosary would still live a Psy Shock if he went for if he did that, and I could have gotten some damage off of it. But Psy Shock, because I live a Psy Shock and at neutral and no boost, so if I did, if like if if I could, what's the like if if I did parting shot, it my Rosary would still be alive and probably, or I probably would have sacked it the next turn. But it would have gotten some damage off of Sylveon. But as you'll see in a sec, I, I have to sack something off. Because I need to get rid of this one room. One, I should have just gone into Megalopoly and just click Fake Out and Return. But now that I think, like now that I think about it, but during the match, I just wanted to get rid of that one room, one way of Trick Room, so I could bring in Megalopoly and just revenge it and get rid of it. So I sack off my uh, my uh own Persian. And he goes for Hyper Voice and takes me out. So, because I because Clefable is important for Mega Ampharos, and my Psycard could take out everything else on his team. It could win the game if Sylveon isn't around. So I go into Mega Opening, and I click Fake Out, and then now that I have speed, I click Return. And I and I beat that. And I knock it out. So he goes into Mega Ampharos, and knowing that, he, and knowing, go, let's go my check into check to it with Clefable, and he goes for a Jody. Make, and I, this makes me think he brought set up on almost every mod except for maybe Weavile. So he goes for Thunderbolt, and I eat that as well. And I go for Moonblast and just to take it out. Well, it might it was a kind of a roll based off the sets. But it didn't really matter because I could just start it out with the poison. Now he goes into Weave Out, and 
he goes for acid downpour. And he probably didn't know this, but Poison Jab would have taken me out anyway. So, but he just wanted to make sure. And I so I go into my megalopony. I go for the fake out. And then knowing that I'm not wanting to take, because Quick Attack didn't had a chance to kill, but I didn't want to take that chance because um, if he goes for a low kick, that could be huge. So I just let him take it, go for an ice shard, and I go for a return. I take out the Weaver Isle. So the only thing that's left is Rhyperior. And I just click high, I click high jump kick, because if I get this damage off of, of Rhyperior, I just win. I if I win, I like I'm I like confident I just win. So I go for high jump kick and I miss. And although I haven't missed one all season, it was still just it was just rough because it made me very nervous that I might lose this match. And he goes for rock polish, of course, on the miss, which is really unfortunate. But as you'll see, I'll go for a quick attack. But I'm because I'm pretty sure. If he's max speed, he outspeeds my Megalopony at, at plus two. So, and he just goes for a power up punch and raises his attack and knocks out my Megalopony. Now, that extra chip damage is going to come in huge in the end because I go into Zygarde and he goes for Ice Punch and my Yachi Berry allows me to live it. And I go for a Dragon Dance. And. I pretty much, I believe I pretty much, uh, so at this rate, at this spot right here, my thousand arrows is kind of a, uh, is pretty much knocks out almost all types of Rhyperior, unless it's very, very defensive, which I believe it wasn't because it was a setup one. So I just click thousand arrows and I knock out Rhyperior and I win the finals. I, the New York Muse are the champions of the Pokemon Showdown League. Season 2.5. I want to thank the the two people who ran this tournament. This, uh, not tournament, this draft league. Teddy and Jake. I want to thank Crypto for helping me uh, team battle for a couple of these matches. And I want to thank Matthew for giving me an excellent finals match. Because it really came down to the wire. <laughs> so... I'll be back next season. Ho hopefully, we can keep we can keep our title. But till then, <laughs> we're gonna just enjoy this moment. We're gonna just just enjoy the victory, the season, the be called the champion. And I'll probably come out with a with a team recap for this season, um soon. But until then, until then. Uh, I'll just continue posting my other league that I'm in, the UPC, and hopefully we get the, we can win that championship too. We'll see. Uh, I just want to say thank you for uh, for all you who watch or are watching and bash out.